this is a perfect example of the chain of survival and how it works. Uh, you know, first of all, you got to have early recognition, uh, which they did. Uh, the, the people walking through uh, Walmart, our, our heroes, were able to recognize that uh, Mr. Leonard was in, in a cardiac compromise <coughs> and, and what ended up being cardiac arrest. And they were able to recognize that in early access is the next step, and uh, they were able to call 911, and then they started early CPR. Um, early CPR is the key, one of the very important keys in the chain of survival. Um, American Heart Association has determined that uh, the earlier CPR can be started, the greater the chance of survival. And then the next uh, link in that chain is early defibrillation. And uh, we were very fortunate. We had a deputy very close, um, Deputy Stovall, and was able to bring her AED in and, and deliver a uh, defibrillation to Mr. Leonard. And uh, then they continue with CPR and defibrillation. Uh, the next step is um, early advanced life support. And uh, we have the Hot of our fire district. We have uh, lifeguard ambulance and we have Shans Care 6 that we're able to provide that um, advanced life support and get them to an appropriate facility and uh, you know with him standing here today beside us um, you know that's a key that the chain of survival works when everything falls into place so uh, doing a quick uh, introduction to everybody who is here uh, first of all we'll we'll thank Brian Boney for his uh, well first of all for his wonderful employees in Walmart today um, to, ha to have this event. Uh, next of all, I'll, I would like to highlight the, uh, where is our Sheriff's deputy? Uh, Sherry Stovall uh, brought the AED in. And of course, before that could happen, um, we, we had our hero, which is uh, Rhonda, and to get all my names in place here, Becky, right? Nicole, and then Mickey. Right here. Okay, and uh, so Nicole, Nicole called 911. We want to highlight that as well because we have a couple of our dispatchers here. We have, uh, raise your hand with, I saw Chris Hall. Chris Hall is back there. And then we have our Sheriff's Department dispatcher. I saw her earlier right here. Uh, so that is very important in our tennis survival as well. We have to have these well-trained dispatchers that not only can help the callers get through CPR, but then they can dispatch the appropriate responders and the closest ones to get us here. I see Holly Navar Fire Department back there. Thank y'all for what y'all do. We have lifeguard ambulance over here. And then we have uh, Shans Care 6. And I think I forgot Michael. Which Michael is here, he's a Walmart employee that was able to recognize the need and he helped facilitate some things, keep people away get the responders in here in a timely fashion. So, and then of course it all starts, well we need to back up before Mr. Leonard decided to come to Walmart. His wife so graciously <laughs> tasked him. Because if she had not tasked him to come to Walmart, he very well could have had this massive heart attack at his house by himself. And if he was not able to call 911, that's probably where she would have found him later on that evening. So luckily she had an assignment for him. He came to Walmart and the whole community approached um, made a difference in, in Mr. Leonard's life and he's able to stand here today. So we really want to highlight that and, and really important early recognition, early CPR, early defibrillation. Um, I do want to give uh, Mr. Leonard a chance here. He wants to say a few words, so I'll turn it over to you. First, I just want to thank everybody for jumping in there and helping me from the bottom of my heart, literally. And this is best. One of the things about a small town, people are willing to jump out there and help their fellow man. And that's basically all I have to say. Just for those of y'all who hadn't heard yet, it, he is still sore. Uh, those guys who did CPR and ladies who did CPR, he did a good job. Uh, it's just a little sore, but uh, it's all good because you're on the right side. All right. Um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a moment and, and recognize, and we'll start with Nicole Wright first. And uh, we have a 911 Hero Award, so uh, thank you, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then we'll go to uh, Rhonda. 
Crenshaw. Then Mickey O'Reilly. After that, Griff, I know probably who started that. <laughs> All right, then we'll go with Michael Whitaker. So now I would like to uh, introduce our uh, commissioner, Rob Williamson, and uh, he has a few things to say. <laughs> Thanks, I'll, I'll be brief. Uh, it is an unbelievable joy to have the opportunity to represent the folks of this district here in Navarre. And I know Walmart, you consider <laughs> yourselves a family. Yes. And uh, no, I was meeting a young lady before we got started and she says it's it's my day off but I just had to be here for this that's the type of family that they have here at Walmart and we're so grateful to have you here in our community and it's so incredible to see it's got to be surreal for you to see the number of people that came together that cared for you as you said you know that's what makes the community great but it's got to be kind of wild to be around all these folks that were here to make sure that Miss Janet, yeah, that uh, she could continue to send you on errands. And uh, <laughs> so we're, we're glad that they were able to make that happen. Uh, there is uh, one request, uh, Mickey and I were talking about it earlier, that uh, we'd like to work on a Florida State life-saving helicopter, uh, maybe to uh, take some pressure off the University of Florida Gators uh, helicopter that's working for us. Look, uh, thank you so much for everything that you do. Uh, as I travel around the state, uh, there's oftentimes folks will ask me, well, tell me about your community and tell me about your county. And I tell them that Navarre Beach and Navarre has about 3.8 miles of some of the most beautiful beach that a lot of folks will never see and that they won't know about. But even better than that is it has incredible people. We have the best people here because of the spirit of community that we have. We are a family. Navarre is a family. And I know one of the goals that I've had for quite some time, and I know that it uh, is shared by Commissioner Parker, is that we want to be recognized as the best county. And that means that each department has to be the best at what they do. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that our emergency operations team, their staff, from the folks that answered the call, from Nicole making the call, but from the shift supervisor, dispatcher, um, Chris, it was, uh, the entire team with our emergency management staff, they are the best in the state. We know that we have the best in the state. Maybe. And so as we try to make sure that Santa Rosa County is the best, we know that we have the best first responders. We know we have the best safety professionals. And I think we might have the best Walmart too. <laughs> All right, and we have Commissioner Sam Parker for a few words. Good afternoon. I, uh, I'm just filling in, so this is off the cuff. The first one to say, we are absolutely glad you're with us. I had the, the pleasure, I, I'll embarrass him, I had the pleasure about um, 14, 15 years ago I, when I started my law enforcement career, Mickey was actually one of my training officers, one of the finest law enforcement officers that I ever worked with. I, I tell you, I, I wore this uniform 10 years, worked with EMS all the time, fire, day in, day out. We just take it for granted. We go to work, we do it because we love it. And uh, now it's really neat to be on this side of the fence and get to see how much you guys are appreciated for what y'all do every day. And uh, you just never hear it because the clientele usually doesn't there. But So I just want to say thank you very much to fire, EMS, law enforcement. I mean, I know what it's like, but uh, I'm telling you, you're way more appreciated than you ever hear. Thank you for the Walmart employees for, for obviously stepping up and, and helping the man, but um, I'm getting off track. The, the main reason that, <laughs> that I was prodded to speak up here today is uh, I want to say thank you very much as well to every Santa Rosa County citizen that uh, voted yes for the local option sales tax and entrusted us, the Board of County Commissioners, 
to be able to use that money to help create a better community. We've done that by help funding the sheriff's office as well as things for the fire departments. But here today specifically, we're here to talk about the uh, our, our brief moment is we were able to install a new radio tower down here in Navarre. And the sheriff came to us right after he got elected. He said, hey, look guys, this is a huge safety issue for law enforcement and fire and we need this radio tower to be able to communicate. So we, we you know, went ahead and pushed those funds up and we were able to do that. And, and, and we say that we wouldn't have done that without your support as the voters to vote and yes on that local option sales tax. So it is huge. And I believe part of that even helps with the communication that will not only save law enforcement lives and, and fire and be able to uh, you know, help them, but ultimately to be able to help the citizens. So thank you very much for supporting that. And we hope that you will continue to support that local option sales tax. Thank you, and then I also want to open it up. I'm not sure if Sheriff Johnson wants to say a few words, but. I just want to add that that local option sales tax, I kind of snuck one in on the Board of County Commissioners and didn't tell them. But I said I needed 57 cars, and um, what I didn't tell them was included in the price of the cars were AEDs for each vehicle. So all the vehicles that we have now, the new ones, come with an AED just for this reason and this reason only. We know it's going to save lives. That's why we put it in the budget, and that's where your money's going. So we're, it's greatly appreciated. So thank you. All right, so in closing, before we do a group photo, uh, you know, I would have to take the opportunity to say that, uh, you know, one of the keys to this is going back to CPR. So on June the 2nd, we offer a quarterly um, CPR and first aid training. So we have that available. You can go to the emergency management website at uh, www.santarosa.fl.gov. You can call our office at 983-5360. We would love to teach you CPR and AED that, so you can be prepared for your community or for that unfortunate bystander who happens to be in cardiac arrest and you can reach out and save their life. So uh, with that being said, uh, I'd like to do a group photo. We'd like to, the first one, we'd like to go ahead and capture everybody in the chain of survival. Um, so we'll start with Mr. Leonard, we'll, then, then we'll just get everybody around. The 911 callers, the CPR folks, our fire department, our EMS, Shans Care, and our sheriff's department. And we'll do a nice group photo, and then we'll let Brandy direct us from there because she's a professional in this. Right. This is Randy Meredith reporting for Navarre Newspaper.